Good morning, explorers. Um, we're at Olino State Park here, located in, I don't even know what town we're in now. Um, I think we're in Columbia County still. Columbia County? Yeah, we'll, we'll verify that. Yeah, we'll, we'll put the town <laughs> down below. Uh, we're going to go look around. We're not sure if you can swim here. We're going to see what the possibility is of swimming. Yeah. Um, we have this giant lake behind us, though. Uh, it looks really flooded right now from the hurricane. Yeah. But, um, this place offers what, like 11 miles it said of hiking and biking trails? Yeah, and uh, it looks like there's camping here. Yeah, there um, are three forms of camping too. Yeah. There's uh, group camp camping and cabins, and there's camping that offers electric and water hookup, and then there's also primitive camping. So, And then there's a whole bunch of uh, like historical stuff. Like the stuff that I'm standing behind, or it's behind me, um, this was all built by the CCC. Um, a long time ago. But, but let's go see what we can find. All right. So apparently you can call that number and enter 110 and someone will talk to you and they will guide you around the park. So what'd you find? Uh, all that brickwork that they came and they laid in Florida to get people back to work. Um, oh, the civilian corps? Yeah. Oh, bingo. Or Kino. <laughs> That's old. No, they got a closed sign here. But it looks like you could have crawled up into that loft at some point. Yeah. I think this is old. Well, not old, old, but. The town of Lino, it says, was originally called Kino for a lot of gambling. That's why that was in the, the museum. Yeah. And then they ended up changing it. They had just a little bit of flooding. So the water is actually brown because of the tree. It turns the, the from the acid from the trees it turns it into this brownish color you see. Doesn't mean that it's dirty, it's just the trees uh, changing the color of the water. You wanna grill? Might be a little hard to get that fire you can going. see, that's a water spigot over there. Oh, yeah, this deck has seen better days. This whole place got jacked. So we're going to go across the bridge now. It says no jumping from the bridge and no fishing from the bridge. And no bikes either. No biking on the bridge. There are 11 miles of hiking, um, a lot of it, it seems to be underwater, like half the forest behind us is all underwater right now. You get to a spot and then it'll just be flooded all of a sudden. Even the uh, bridge areas that were built with wood, some of those are underwater too. So. Maybe not come right after a hurricane. Yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful, even though it's all flooded. <laughs> hey there puppy.
Okay, so we found out that this is actually the swimming area behind us. There's no water supposed to be here. You're supposed to be able to walk up to the docks and then jump in. That suspension bridge is supposed to be like 15 feet from the river. As you can see, the river is almost touching it. And uh, this all gets fed from uh, Georgia rivers and that from what we yeah, heard too. the guy was saying that even when Georgia gets hit by a storm, this place will flood like this because it's all connected. old buildings. We're not sure. We think that you can group camp in these. These are the group camping ones. They have a big family. It's hard to say what any of this is though. I mean it's it definitely looks like a cabin and I mean it's numbered um, but they've got everything battened down from the storm. Yeah, so. and the, yeah number 18. Yeah. This is like one of the older places. It looks like they're re uh, restoring it though because there was paint inside and stuff. Yeah, this is something that definitely would have been constructed by the CCC. This is stonework we were talking about. Yeah. This is probably the cabin I would want, but uh-oh, uh good old number 13. <laughs> In the woods, don't stay here on Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, that's gonna be it for this video on Alino State Park. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's a nice little park, I think. There's lots of hiking here. You can camp here. Like I said, they have three different options. And on a normal day. Yeah. You can swim out there. Yeah, you can swim. And um, they have a really neat suspension bridge. I, I had fun crossing that thing. Yeah, <laughs> very wobbly. Yeah, I like, I mean, for some reason I like that. Most, most uh, suspension bridges would be like that though. So. so, hit that like and subscribe button below. Or leave a comment. Remember to keep exploring. See you on the next one.